All right. Hey guys, it's Doug here, and I am in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And I am with Linda Hamilton and Everett. Do you want to be on? Hi there. Oh. <laughs> I'll get you this way. There we go. There's Everett. And uh, just had a chance to pray for Linda uh, for a couple different things. Um, one, v VHL, right? VHL. Which has uh, uh, really been a challenging uh, a disease or challenging thing that's come against her. But one specific thing we prayed for is on the right side of your head, mm -hmm. you had uh, a shunt and a nerve. Do you want to describe that better than me? Yeah. I had, um, last January, they had to go in and, and remove my old shunt and put a new one in because I got bacterial meningitis because my old shunt got infected. When they put the new one in, it kind of did something to the nerve. They accidentally think they hit a nerve and stuff. And so I haven't been able to lay on that side or wear my hat comfortably or anything. And tonight, Doug prayed over it, and I haven't had to adjust my hat, and I can actually lean up against it. And I just remember feeling really, really, really relaxed when he had his hand on my shunt part where my shunt was at, and it's not hurting now. And I feel like with the VHL, that is a genetic thing that I I feel like it's gonna be gone. It's gone. Yeah. I yeah. Don't, I'm not gonna claim it anymore. No. Just gonna, it is just gone. Yeah, my head's not hurting, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let Satan come back in and try to get my head to hurt again or anything. No. I'm just gonna keep believing that it's completely healed and yeah. I can get off of the medicine they put me on to kind of calm the nerve down. Yeah, and so that's gonna be my next goal is getting off the medicine they put me on to calm the nerve down. Yeah, you felt your head with your fingers and you said it's gone because mm -hmm. you could yeah, I did. do that. So yep. that's right, and we're all for uh, all the medical verification we can get. So. We prayed that every genetic marker of the VHL yeah, would be it's, disappeared. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone, huh? It doesn't hurt. Yeah. You know? And I mean, I'm touching all, I mean, you can feel the lump back there, and I'm touching all over it, and it's, yeah. it's we not ask, hurting. We asked God to protect it so it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, so, it's it, not hurting. So we're, we're, we're looking forward to even doctor's tests where, not just, well, that thing's tremendous. We, you know, whenever you have pain and it's gone, that is a tremendous thing. Oh, yeah. And we're believing that the, even the genetic markers of the VHL and then the, the physical effects of it are, are, uh, are doctor verified uh, gone too. So, And then one other thing, while you were in Walmart, then I had a friend from Sioux City call. And, uh, and we've been, this friend has actually called me numerous times now and said, hey, I got a friend, can you pray with him? And uh, Everett, you were in the car with me. We probably took uh, time to pray for a... A lady, I don't want to mention her name because I don't have her permission necessarily, but prayed for her um, uh, for a number of different things. Probably 15 or 20 minutes, wouldn't you say I was on the phone that yeah, long? Quite a while. And we begin to pray for, uh, I'm going to summarize everything, um, just a heaviness of heart, right? Kind of like a depression that sapped her all of her energy. Even though she's very healthy and the doctors couldn't find anything wrong with her, she was tired of it. And so we're going to pray against that that uh, heaviness of spirit, heaviness of soul, heaviness of heart. And that was changing, that was changing then. And then she she had uh, pain in her uh, in her neck and shoulders. And this was an amazing one because as I was praying for it, I, I, I knew what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to just say, this is what's happening. I would say, you know what, you're feeling this warmth now and it's beginning to come over your, down your neck and into your traps and it's going to kind of stop right at the top of your shoulders it's going to kind of dangle her finger down into your back a little bit and, and as i was saying it she was experiencing all that happen um and then she had uh, some pain in her hips and back and discomfort so we prayed over that a couple of times and that was gone and then she said i just wish i had energy just wish i had energy so we prayed for energy to come and uh, she said, you know, I feel like a power. I can feel a power. So I said, well, watch this. And I said, Holy Spirit, just double it. And so it is, the Lord is touching her. And then the one last thing that we prayed over, over the phone was um, she had a heaviness on her chest where it affected her breathing. And, and, you know, that took two or three times coming against that because that's a spiritual thing. That's like a spiritual heaviness. And so uh, the Lord set her free, though. He set her free of all that, her hip and back, um, her energy level, the heaviness of heart, uh, the heaviness on her chest, the shoulders and, and, and the neck, uh, all that. So God's amazing. And that has probably got to be the fifth, maybe, phone call uh, that we've been doing from this location. And gosh, just healing people. And one young lady we're staying on, the, the situation's changing more slowly, but it is changing. And so we're just saying on it until that lady's completely free. So I'm saying all this to encourage you. Uh, that uh, 
Jesus does this, not me or not any man or woman. It's really Jesus. So I'm encouraging you to take a risk and touch the world with his love, life, and power.